Hello hydroponicers, we are back from that disaster farm visit and let's have uh, hear it from CV sir, how was his experience? Sir, how was it? Yeah Rajiv, uh, I just finished uh, the visit to the farm that we mentioned earlier. Yep. The one uh, which I said is an example of a disaster. Yeah. Um, I think I already told you that they spent a lot of money in close to 40, 40 lakhs for a quarter acre farm hmm. and they were shown excel sheets and uh, big big numbers and stuff like that and uh, they were made to believe that something grown in Salem which is close to 200 kilometers from Bangalore hmm. uh, would be selling in the Bangalore market like hot cake. Hmm. Uh, when we met the manager of the place and the agronomist or so-called agronomist, she was not an agronomist there, but what we learnt was what was shown on the excel sheet mm. and uh, what price they got in the market mm. were totally at variance by almost uh, 60 to 80 percent. Okay. So, they were also I don't know what kind of advice was given to them. They have A-frame NFT systems. They have flatbed NFT system. They got Dutch buckets. They got some crazy grow bags lying around. Oh my God, it was such a mess, such a mess. And soil-grown plants growing along with soilless plants. <laughs> you never do that. I mean, you know, it's, yeah. if somebody had consulted and had knowledge about this science, the last thing you would ask someone to do is to grow uh, soilless and soil plants together in the same greenhouse. Yep. Oh my God! And uh, the the very structure, the engineering, the agricultural engineering that has been used is, I mean, it leaves much to be desired. So, the flatbed system, for example, all the pipes leak into a central. Uh, main lateral uh, where all the used up water comes in and goes back to a reservoir. Now that water is stagnant. I don't know. There were, I didn't see any slope out there. I didn't see any of those things. And there was so much of algae formation and coming to think of it, this project was completed by December or so of last year. Hmm. Uh, there were close to about six to eight crops growing there. Uh, or maybe yeah, six to eight crops and there were different crops growing on the same NFT system with the same pH with the same EC there was so much of pest and disease it, I mean it was such a mess so when I delved further and tried to understand how it happened why it happened uh, well they said that yes we had this company from Bangalore and these guys told us you know you will make a lot of money out of it and blah 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 and not even one year has been completed and they have it has already failed so they need my help and then they're asking for my help so I mean I can help them up to a point I mean I otherwise I have to make radical changes in their systems hmm. if they're willing to make the radical changes that's fine hmm. but if they don't make radical changes then I'll have to find ways and means of still being able to use those uh, systems mm. to be to be so that they can grow something but I'm, my worry is that where is that market for such kind of things there's hardly any market mm. so I mean I'll, I think possibly if they expect me to be a consultant for them mm. I'll have to do some a lot of talking with them, understanding what is the market that they were intending to go to and uh, you know, decide on one or two crops, not more than that. Mm. So, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, I saw the whole system and then I was looking at the polyfilm that has been put on the top of that uh, quarter acre greenhouse mm. and that polyfilm is not used for vegetable growing. Okay. It's mostly used for gerberas and stuff like that. So, the people who have given the guidance themselves have no idea and no knowledge of what uh, what they're doing. I mean, 
you gone to a one-eyed man or a blind man and you're asking him stuff. So the whole thing is a mess because when you go to a man with half knowledge, what do you get from him? Okay, half knowledge is okay, but the amount of money that these guys spent, mm. 40 lakhs. You know, Rajiv, I should always tell you that the quotations for one acre NFT systems in India yeah. from various companies and yeah. hydroponics mm. is anywhere from between 1.6 to 1.8 crores. Yeah. I mean, that's not a small amount for anybody for that matter. It doesn't matter if it's a corporate or an individual who puts 1.8 crores. Mm. But ultimately, loss, if you're in a loss, what, what sense does that make? Mm. So, from in, I mean, this whole visit was an eye-opener for me. And I'm sure it was more more than me, it was an eye-opener for you, Rajiv. Because you've never seen a disaster farm. Oh, yes. I was you, heard me, you heard me speak at so many places about disasters. You heard me tell people about being careful, yeah. about putting in their money. Yeah. I keep telling people about skill. Yeah. But you saw, now today what you saw was the same thing. Yeah. You saw that it's just because you did, you were ignorant, you had no idea of the science. You went and put in so much of money hmm. and now you're sitting with 40 lakhs loss. Total, total disaster. This was my first time experience yes. in a hydroponics uh, farm, but I didn't expect a disaster, but it was 11 or 12,000 square feet of disaster. Yeah. It was a jaw dropper for me. And for, for big people with a lot of money sitting in the bank doing nothing, uh, 40 lakhs must be peanuts. Yeah. But again, it has it has got some value to it. It was wasted, totally wasted. Exactly. So this is what it is, Rajiv. I mean, I know I'm fighting against a big mafia in this country. A big syndicate, if you ask me. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> it's a mafia. It's a total mafia. It's yeah. a, you know, like... Lies, lies and lies, lying without any limit yep. and people getting fooled mm. and I blame the people also because they are greedy. Mm. When they are shown these excel sheets, they should ask questions. Yep. How show us some kind of, I mean, you know, success stories. Mm. People are telling you something, how do you believe them? Yep. I mean, it doesn't stand to reason. Right. So, yeah. So, the, the, when, when I ask them, what about the support after being put, after they put up the system, mm. this company from Bangalore, after they put up the system, what is the support that they gave? Mm. They said zilch. There was no support at all. And the funny part is they have told them that you are not your plants are not growing well because your place is extremely hot. Yeah. What a damn joke. Yeah. What a damn joke. If if a person if a consultant knew. Mm. Uh, what to do and how to do things mm. he, he, this would not have been the situation absolutely I think the consultant lacks science absolutely he has no idea uh, I mean I'm sorry to say uh, I shouldn't use those words but like we say in the in the Indian Navy mm. he, he, they don't know their ass from their elbow <laughs> so so it's, it's a really pathetic very sad that you know to see such things happen mm. Yeah, I mean, it's not about my money, your money, but whosoever money it is. Hmm. At the end of the day, hmm. money is money. Money is money. Absolutely. So, I, I was very shocked to see a lot of algae and a lot of, uh, like you mentioned, a lot of pest and disease happened. And then I had a word with uh, this uh, lady supervisor when you were away for a uh, talk with the manager. So this lady supervisor tells me that there were a lot of, uh, about there were, there were about six or eight people who used to work in that farm and they started falling sick because yeah. of the smell that was coming out of the nutrition that they were giving. It was very shocking. I mean, I couldn't believe that. It's a... I don't know what to say, Rajiv. It's a... It's a disaster. Disaster is not... I mean, it's more mild word. Yeah. Underrated. <laughs> disaster would be underrated. Yeah. But I'm glad that we are able to bring all these kind of things to the notice of our countrymen. Yes. Who think that hydroponic is some joke. <laughs> that, you know, you just put, put some pipes. And just if you really look at it, Rajiv, for they put, these guys have spent 10 lakhs on the greenhouse, hmm. on the poly house. Hmm. And 29 lakhs for that system there. Hmm. It is a plumbing job. <laughs> There's nothing great about that system. <laughs> plumbing job. It's a plumbing job. 
any plumber can do it and uh, why plumber a 7 standard kid a smart intelligent kid can make that system wow. and it won't even cost you more than 3 to 4 lakhs or 5 lakhs maximum to put up that whole thing mm. so it's like you know what to say rajiv it's public getting fooled yes. left right and center left right and center fooling 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 yep so anyway rajiv uh, we are here to bring the truth over the industry hmm. to the notice of our people that this is the truth about hydroponics yeah. in india definitely it's the, this is the truth and uh, nothing but the truth i don't know what else to say rajiv uh, we hope that such such kind of companies will slowly close down yeah uh, their business because people would know their uh, tricks yep yep um, and make make hydroponics a more lucrative business hmm. than a business where you're doomed to fail right so let's hope for better times and the uh, better uh, you know what do you call a better climate for the industry in the future yep so saying that i think i sign off thank all you guys thank you sir thank all right ado ponicus we were we were uh, really eager to uh, do this video the second part of the video while coming back from palakkad but we got really uh, uh, spiked up by this disaster we were uh, we really thought of doing this while we are on our way to palakkad rather than waiting for returning from palakkad and we couldn't stop sharing this with you and uh, there's more truth to come so while coming from palakkad we, we might have some more discussion because we we've got a lot of video content that we captured from that place so cv sir might go through the videos again and uh, see uh, if there is anything that needs to be shared with you that so that you don't fail and you don't fail in the traps of uh, these so called consultants out there uh, quackoponics <laughs> Quack quackoponics yeah Quack quackoponics <laughs> i call them quacks hydroponic quacks Quack doctors, <laughs> quacks. So, uh, all right, you guys, stay tuned. More truth coming. Uh, CV Hydro is all about uh, the truth about hydroponics in India. And if you have any questions, you can drop your questions in the comments. Uh, ask CV Hydro. Don't forget to do that before you jump into some trap. Thank you. Signing off. Bye bye.